Oh yes, my people, this is Smart Okosin TV show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to give the latest update concerning what is going on in Biafra land and within. Today is another special update. Please, 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 as you are about to watch this video, like, subscribe and click the notification button for more of our video coming up. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, welcome to this impromptu press briefing by the legal team of Mazi Namdekano. My name is Aloy Ijmako. I'm the special counsel to Mazi Namdekano. On my left is Nemeka Ejofo Esquire. Next to him is Jude Uguayi Esquire. Next to him is Chidebere Wodo Esquire. And on my right is Prince Mandela Umeborog Esquire. Next to him is Ikenna Wangu Esquire. This is an observer member of the legal team with us today. Welcome one more time. We called this impromptu press briefing. Basically to recap on what happened in court on 24th, September 2024. What happened is an example of a defendant exercising his right under the constitution when he loses confidence in the court before whom he has been brought to trial. It is nothing extraordinary. It didn't have to happen, but it happened for a reason. The reason is simple. We have contended, we have complained even in the media, and we have filed motions upon motions before the High Court, submitting evidence that where Mazen Namdekanu is currently detained complicates his preparation for trial because of set several uncon unconstitutional incidents or conducts by the DSS. One, the DSS seizes our legal documents. Two, the DSS listens to our conversations. These things led to an extraordinary court order by the former Federal High Court Judge Henry in this case that we be provided a clean room, free from secret listening devices in order to be effective in preparing him for trial confidentially. That clean room was not provided and the DSS continued to interdict our documents each time we go there. Under section 36 of the, the Nigerian constitution, this is wrong. A defendant is entitled as of constitutional right to the adequate facility to conduct, to prepare his defense and to interact with his counsel in an atmosphere of confidentiality free from any interference whatsoever. So given that DSS has become very stubborn in complying with these court, these court orders, we did in fact file also a contempt proceeding which is pending before the Federal High Court. But there is no change in circumstance which made it impossible for us to prepare Mazen Namdekanu for trial. So when on 24 September, the judge insisted that trial must proceed in the face of all these anomalies, our client had no choice. Not we, we as counsel had no standing to recuse the judge. It was our client, the defendant, that has the constitutional standing. So he rose up to exercise that constitutional right because with this atmosphere of not being prepared for his trial, how could the judge insist that trial must continue? That was exactly what led to the loss of confidence in the judge and the request for recusal. I will stop here so far so that my other colleagues can give you other background to this case and why you are here today. Thank you. Um. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, and uh, all lovers of freedom. My name is Nemeke Jofo, 
I'm one of the lawyers to Mazen Namdekano. A lot of people have been asking questions as to what happened in court in September 24th, 2024. And uh, some people, including those in government cycle, tend to see it as a sign of disrespect to the judge and to the judiciary. We must clear the air. Everybody or any person who appears before a court of law must have that feeling of being in a secured environment where his or her rights will be protected. And not just protected, will be seen to being protected. Once you are before a court and you do not have that feeling that your fundamental right is being protected by the court, then you have the right to request the judge to recuse himself. And this can happen for so many reasons. There are reasons why uh, Mazen Namdekano had to take that very tough option of asking the judge to recuse herself. One of which is that Mazen Namdekano believed that the judge was respectful to the Supreme Court's judgment or decision that his bill be restored. Mazen Namdekano felt if a federal high court judge does not respect the decision of the Supreme Court, then there is no need standing trial before such a judge. Be that as it may, we feel the need to enlighten the public and to let everybody know that it was not an act of disrespect whatsoever to the Honorable Leonard Justice Binta Inyako. She remains a very sound judge, an astute judge, and a judge we all love to appear before. Thank you very much. Yeah, good afternoon, sir, to all of us. My name is Jude Ugwai. I'm one of the lawyers to Mazen Namdekanu, and I hail from Enugu State, Enugu Zika in particular. The one thing I am so particular about is the issue of insecurity in the Southeast. This trial of Mazen Namdekanu, no, the federal government is not ready to proceed with the trial. Because the, the, the South Easterners, Easterners are the worst victim of the insecurity that devil the nation. I did say that my name is Joe Dugan. I've lost a brother who was in final year, faculty of law, to this insecurity. And one wonders, okay, what is the interest of federal government in not being open to trial? Each time we go to court, they will say they're ready for trial. But you cannot be ready for trial when the atmosphere you create is not sufficient or conducive for the defendant to properly conduct the defense. Now, as a result of this insecurity, I cannot even travel to my village. And then instead of giving us free atmosphere for a conducive trial, they are insisting on trial, whereas our client is handicapped. And when we see that that is not a fair trial, we say, ah, please give us time, we think we to do the needful. And they said it is impossible. That was why Mazen Namdekanu insisted that this trial cannot go on. Because if the federal government should consider the insecurity in the Southeast, and being aware that their primary responsibility is to secure the life and property of the citizens, they should allow this man either bail or give him enough room to discuss with his lawyers so as to effectively defend himself. So in the absence of all these things, I think, in my view, that Mazin Namdekano was right to say, I need another judge. Mazin Namdekano never said, I need a particular judge. He said, I do not want to subject myself to this particular judge, but any other judge of the High Court is okay. That is what we see, and that is what we take. And any other judge they take, give us, we are ready to go with the trial, provided we foresee non-bias and impartiality. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Smart Okason TV Show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to keep the intellect flowing.